Okay. Oh my gosh. So many hiccups. Okay, I think that's it. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jordan and welcome back to another Jordan video. Today I'm going to be going to the store to pick up some makeup and I wanted to take you guys along because I just want to show you guys what is a good starter makeup for teens and tweens and like stuff that I usually get. But this isn't saying like I know what's the best product to use because I don't. I'm just getting into makeup. But I just wanted to make a video so you guys can know what's like a good affordable drugstore starter makeup because I know a lot of us are probably getting into makeup. I know I am because I'm me, duh. But... <laughs> But yeah, so I'm just gonna take you guys along and we're gonna go to Walgreens. We're just gonna head to Walgreens instead of something like ma or makeup or Sephora. Um, instead of something like Ulta or Sephora because Walgreens, Walgreens is kind of like an everyday drugstore. Yeah, Ulta has some pretty good prices for their makeup. It's pretty like a good price for starting off. But I just wanted to go to Walgreens because again, it's everyday drugstore like it's everywhere and it might be more accessible than ulta like, or ulta, sephora some places, some places might not have an ulta or sephora yeah also i know when we're getting into makeup we see all these like uh, youtubers or tiktokers or instagrammers instagrammers <laughs> <laughs> getting um like with all of these products all like all these layers everything super expensive fancy makeup things with themes and stuff but Anything it can be very confusing and you don't even need all of that you can just start off simple and once you get you know more and more like what i mean like more into more. it learn more then you, then you can start getting stuff but for just starting mm -hmm. out we're gonna head to walgreens look it is right there also peep the fit fit check uh, we got the turtleneck from i don't know we got the sweater crew neck that says sunny days from forever 21 we got the skirt from amazook amazon that sounded so weird and then we have the the socks the socks from amazon then we got the shoes from amazon nike <laughs> <laughs> then we got the hair from amazon from amazon <laughs> why are you walking like that <laughs> got a cute fit on and it's raining Okay, so we're in the store, and the first thing I want to talk to you guys about is the Butter Gloss from NYX. So, the Butter Gloss is really, really good. It can be a replacement for something like other than lipstick. So, this is really good because it's a tinted gloss. I would say that it's kind of better for than lipstick when you're starting off because sometimes lipstick can be like really hard because sometimes you can mess it up, smudge it, you know you get it all over the place so a butter gloss is a great way to start off for tinted lips oh my god look at their hearts these are so cute shout out loud pro pigment looks lipstick also the next palettes are really good because they're super cheap and they have a ton of colors look at all those colors look at that and you can do so much with um these colors also i recommend starting off with neutral tones because if you start off with like really bright colors, like say you want to start off with a bright pink and a bright blue, and sometimes it can look a little crazy because you're starting out. You don't really know how to do it yet. Oh my God, my neck. So yeah, NYX palettes are awesome because they're super affordable and also very easy to find. NYX is everywhere and it has a ton of color. Let me move on to mascara. This is the mascara that I have been using and it's, pretty good it's okay but it dried out really really fast and it's even hard to open the tube because it's very dried out and so like it's okay but i'm gonna be looking for another one today tires <laughs> there's a ton of mascaras look at this these this these there's these and oh look at this one's even curved that's cool so many options so i'm just gonna go with the one my mom always uses which is this um green and pink one because my mom says that she's tried a lot of mascaras and this is her total favorite one she told me that it works great and it'll work better than the other one that i got so i think i'm going to go with this one it's called big 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 jesus so this one not the big 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 because great lash has a ton of different ones 
um, and I use that one because you see the the, oh, yeah, the wand. Cool. It okay. gets the inner corner of your eyelashes really well. So. The other one, I was struggling so hard to get that inner corner. There's so many types of mascara, and aren't they like all the same? That can really be overwhelming for kids. I know it's so kids, much. You're just getting started. Cause I know I look cute and they're making me look real ratchet. Okay, so we're gonna be talking about brushes next. So these wet and wild brushes are perfect for starting off because they're only 99 cents, most of them. And they're like super pretty. Like they're ombre and pink. Okay, so you don't really want to like spend a bunch of money on brushes when you're starting off. You need brushes to start off, but you don't want to go overload with them. You don't want to spend a bunch of money for something that you're just starting off with because you're just learning how to do this. You don't want to waste your money. So the brands like Wet n Wild and Elf are really affordable brands and they both have really good brushes. Look at this cute, I don't know, what is it? Marshmallow Cloud Pout. Marshmallow. I wonder if it's like like fluffy lipstick, like like if you put it on and it's like shaving cream. <laughs> like, so. And you like take it off and then it gives you a little tint. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's fluffy. It don't look fluffy. Also, contour. My mom said that this. Oh shoot! How did that even happen? So oh, I grabbed two. Um, my mom said that this contour palette is really good for starting out. This is really good if you want to start off for um contouring because it is cheap easy to get and you can't hit two birds in one stone if you really want to so uh i've been seeing so many people say that every you have seen this in your like first grade bathroom and it smells super good and yeah i have look at this advanced hand sanitizer it literally st says it on the bottle wait yeah it's so advanced. Also, a primer is really good to get when starting off. And this one is a um, sunscreen primer. So even if you don't use face makeup, a primer can also be good. And also, I use setting spray too. Well, I haven't been using it, but setting spray is also a good one. This is the one I use and my mom uses the matte one because she has really oily skin. So she uses the matte and I use... <laughs> And I use this one because I have pretty dry skin. Also, okay, look at the songs. This is so cute. Okay. So um, my mom also used a matte putty primer and I do use a primer, a matte putty primer sometimes too. It's like a tannish one though. Yeah, I think that one's for your eyes though. So they have more, some more contour. They have a um, cream contour palette and they have a powder contour palette. My mom doesn't let me contour just yet because she doesn't want me like clogging up my pores. Oh, they also have a powdered blush palette. I love blush because it makes you look all rosy. Do you need more of it? Also, uh, no. Okay. I also use this clear brow and clear lash mascara because it like sets my brows in place. I actually have it on right now. Look it, free promo. <laughs> but yeah, I use this and it works really well and I haven't ran out of it yet. Oh my God, look at they have um, gel blush. This is so cute. Look it, it's so cute. What is it? Yeah. Sheer gel cream blush. Look, you want to get copper drop, copper drop, put it in down below. Also, what I use, I use this Neutrogena makeup remover because you do not want to sleep in your makeup. It can ruin your skin if you do it so many times, even if you do it once. So, don't do it. And we, my mom gets these two packs, for, one for her, one for me, and they work really well for me. Also, use like I don't know if they have. I, I'm pretty sure they have one here, but I just don't know where it's at. But you can also use like a makeup wipe towel. Like it's, you can reuse it and it's soft and stuff if you don't want to use makeup wipes. Hi. I'm running away. I'm running away. So yeah, I know. Look at all this makeup. It looks like a lot. And you don't even need half of this stuff when you're starting off. You can honestly just get a few things, start off, practice, learn, adapt, get what you need to get, and go from there. I love highlighter because it makes me feel like so sparkly. 
so highlighter is a good thing too you know how you like to do like your lip stuff um look this is cute it's like a three-step treatment it's a scrub and then a lip treatment and a lip mask Oh, and you I have a scrub. Yeah, so you could try out the lip treatment and the lip mask. Because I don't like how you love to moisturize your lips. Plumpy like lips, but they still be cracked. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get? Can I get? Okay, so <laughs> only to play in the house. You're not going out in public with liquid eyeliner. You're too young. You don't need. Okay. But you can get it to practice at home with. Okay. Okay. But no leaving the house. Okay. With it on. Okay, we picked up one last makeup essential. It's not a makeup essential. It's, it's a it's a giant ball and it squeezes and it goes make the noise. And it, it makes the noise. It goes squish squish. <laughs> okay, so we are back in the car and it's super super windy outside. And it looks like a hurricane's a brewing. Storms a brewing. Storms a brewing, baby. Okay, so I'm home now. And I hope that troop kind of helped you guys if you're figuring out and getting into makeup. Just like what you should get, give you some ideas of what to get. And if I miss anything or if you are starting off on makeup and you have some suggestions, make sure to let some other people know because you might also help them too. But yeah, that was my beginner makeup essentials shopping blog vlog. I know it was kind of all over the place, but I kind of just wanted to bring you guys along, make it fun, make it funny. And yeah, I hope this helped you guys out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Do all that fun stuff, all that fun stuff. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Love you. Woo.